Well, hidey ho, cigar enthusiasts and tobacco aficionados. Uh, welcome back to a new cigar video review from Cigar Suckers Cologne, aka Harry. That's me. And today's cigar that we will review is the um, Arturo Fuente Hemingway short story. It's a uh, um, short perfecto. Uh, so name says made by Fuente in the Dominican Republic, and um, it has a gorge of 50 and a length of uh, nearly four inches. So this is a, a short cigar, and that's good enough because it's still cold outside here in Germany. Um, what can I say about this cigar? Uh, the filler and uh, the binder are Dominican tobaccos, and the wrapper is from Cameroon. Um, that's a good combination because the Cameroon wrapper is a very spicy one, and uh, it fits very good to the mild one, ones uh, to the mild tobaccos of the Dominican Republic. Um, what more for the filler? They say they use four four different tobaccos and that uh, gives the cigar a special variety they say so I'm gonna cut this wonderful little cigar toast it and then we'll see what it tastes like in the first draws see you. so I cut my cigar as you see now I'm gonna burn it and as you see that's difficult with this very small area there you can cut it a little bit, but I burn it and uh, try it this way. Although it's nearly close, closed at the front, uh, you still have a, you already have a good draw. you can see right now it's a beautiful very white ash so because of this vitola it's normal that this cigar starts a little bit stronger sharper but surprisingly it doesn't do that it's a medium cigar very tasty nice aromas mild m mild to medium well okay that's good um, as far as I know this cigar is very high rated at cigar aficionado I think it uh, made 93 points or 94 points I think it was 94 93 A lot of smoke, very creamy, great stuff, tastes a little bit Cuban-like. I don't know how to say that because <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, but this is one of the cigars that really have tobacco aromas. It, it tastes like really tobacco. It smells like tobacco. It tastes like tobacco. There's a sweetness. Still a little bit in the background, but there's a sweetness. Well, it's earthy. A little bit wooden, cedar, maybe it's cedar. There's cocoa, there's, there's chocolate, cocoa, something like that in it. Well, let's see what it develops like. Uh, I'll be back soon.
welcome back as you might see this is a wonderful creamy smoke a lot of smoke for such a little cigar a very creamy smoke um, perfect this 10 minutes are over now it has a perfect ash not perfect but a, but a very beautiful ash uh, sharp burning line nearly even burn don't forget I'm smoking outside and um, this is this is a wonderful a wonderful cigar it's uh, as usual by uh, by cigars made by Fuente uh, it's handcrafted perfectly um, it's, it's very a very a very pr pretty cigar a beautiful cigar um, the aromas are still leather cedar and um, coffee. Um, this coffee aroma is more dominant now. It really tastes like a good coffee. Not a dark coffee, not a milk coffee, or really an irregular coffee. And very tasty. Uh, as the gorge widens, it's, uh, it's a little bit milder now. Um, really a good cigar. very tasty it's to me it's a little bit Cuban like uh, that's what I told you in my last uh, cigar review there's uh, no playing on the around it uh, only the things that you need with a uh, cigar no no special aromas that no other cigars have but very good balance very well, well made uh, I like it I really like it only only thing I have to criticize it's a little bit too expensive as with most uh, Fuente cigars. Here in Germany right now it's uh, seven euro twenty. Once it costed uh, ten euros, now it's seven euro twenty. That's about ten dollars in the states. I don't know what it what it costs in the United States, but great stuff. Welcome back Cigar Maniacs to the cigar review of the Arturo Fuente Hemingway short story. Well that sad short story, I think that will be a short story, 20 minutes are over now. The ash is still there but it will fall off very soon. I had to take away the cigar band already. As you might see, cigar has a perfect even and sharp burn. Cigar is nice, uh, the uh, edge is nice, but as I said it will fall off soon. Now, um, still a wonderful cigar, to me now it's a, it's a mild to medium cigar. So it, it's really, really only a mild to medium cigar, uh, but it's very tasty. As you might see, uh, it appears darker than it is in reality. Some nice ash, white ash, silver gray ash, white. Um, still the dominant aromas are uh, cedar, leather a little bit, and lots of coffee. And now there's uh, more and more upcoming a sweetness. The coffee gets sweetened. Um, it's perfect so far. Uh, it's also a good suggestion to beginners. You don't have to be a pro to smoke the cigar. Still very, very creamy smoke. Lots of smoke. That's what I like. Perfect draw. Really a perfect draw. Um, there's no pepper yet. Uh, to me, the cigar would be perfect if there is an upcoming pepper in the in the very last uh, part. Let's see if that ha if this happens. Um, I've smoked once before, but I don't remember. This cigar really 
deserves this 93 points of the Sega Aficionado. It's a great stick, uh, a clear suggestion of mine. Um, fine smoke. It's fun to me. So uh, let's wait another minute, a few minutes, and then I'll be back for the last take. See you guys. Hi ho. Maybe you want to hear some interesting things. Did you know that Arturo Fuente only uses tobacco from his very own farm? It's uh, called Chateau Fuente in the Dominican Republic. That guarantees that his uh, the tobacco he uses is really a unique one. He doesn't mix them with the tobacco from, from other farms in the Dominican Republic. Um, this Vitola, <laughs> I can't see it any longer, the Perfecto, was very popular in the 1920s, 30s and 40s and then it disappeared completely and uh, it was Fuente who brought it back in the 1980s I guess uh, it's it's a nice special Vitola, it's fun smoking uh, it's it's exciting smoking such a Vitola should try it once um, another thing, the, as I told you, the wrapper is from Cameroon and these wrappers are uh, from time to time very rare because of the um, political situation in this Central African region. So uh, you can say that's something special. Well, nearly 30 minutes are over now. This is still a perfect stick, perfect cigar. It's fun smoking it. Uh, Still, it's uh, coffee with uh, some sweetness in it, with uh, sugar, um, leather, clearly leather, leather, uh, cedar aromas, uh, nothing else. And now, in the in the end, as I hoped, uh, there is upcoming some pepper, not too much. Don't be afraid, not too much, just a little bit, so it's getting a little bit more spicy again, in the direction medium body from mild to medium to medium now um, perfect raw, perfect burn this is an excellent stick you should try it uh, hope you had fun see you with my next cigar review have a nice day, stay smoky guys, bye